And the last operation in this project is late part of. Okay, I create this operation and just press run. Okay, let's check. Okay, it seems everything is fine. Mm -hmm. Very good. So let's simulate our project from the beginning to the end. I go to simulation page, uh, click on the machine name, then reset the workpiece and press adjust the speed of simulation and press run. Okay, we can see the whole machine movements, all the machine movements. Okay, I can turn off the solid color of the uh, machining result to see what operation, uh, what operation uh, is working in what area. Like this, all operations now are colored in their own colors. Here are the color, colors of the operations. So different operations are shown in different colors. Okay, that's it. So increase the speed a little bit. Okay, this is our 5D surfacing operation, number one, 2D contouring for finishing, another 5D surfacing operation, and part cut off. Okay, we can see a gap there, a little gap here, so everything is fine. That's it, our project is finished. So, and the last thing is post-processing. So, I go back to machining page and press post-processor button. So, by default, here are the uh, mill post-processors. I need mill turn post-processors. So, I, uh, okay, I press this little button and here we have turn mill post-processors folder. I select this folder and here are our turn mill uh, post-processors. So, I will choose, for example, uh, cinematic post processor for this um, project and press run. Okay, here is my G code for this uh, for this project. That's it.